All right, listen to this guy. He claims that a flashlight can be used as a primary weapon for just about anything. Um, I think he's just trying to sell his freaking flashlights, and he's got a load of crap. But anyway, you guys tell me in the comments below what you think about this, all of you that carry flashlights. Including high beam, low beam, strobe, and SOS. You can get two different battery options. How many times a flashlight saved my bacon when I was with the agency? I've been in some dark and nasty places, and if I didn't have a flashlight, well, I might not be, you know, telling y'all about this now. To this day, I've got flashlights everywhere, including three of them on my nightstand for home defense. And to be totally honest, the reason I have three seal torch flashlights on my nightstand is I have six kids. Someone's always taking a flashlight, so I like to have backups always for an emergency. This guy sounds like a flashaholic. And the seal torch flashlight has never let me down. Um, the beauty of this seal torch flashlight that you can get for free when you go below is it has five different operational modes for all your needs, including high beam, low beam, strobe, and SOS. You can get two different battery options. You can run it on three AAA batteries or a single 18650 battery. All right, let's get something straight. If you're going to use a light for any tactical purpose, you want to turn on and off. That's it. You don't want it going through five different freaking modes, including disco strobe mode. You want it to basically have a rear click. Or you just basically want it to be able to click on and off. That's it. I mean, there's dead nuts bolts to it. That's what Surefires are built off of. I mean, it's very simple. You do not want a complicated user interface. So this guy's a load of crap. Three. It's waterproof, so no big deal if it falls in a creek okay, or you drop a lake or something days. like that. And it has a zoom beam focus that's fully adjustable from 1 all the way out to 2,000. It comes with an incredibly bright LED bulb that can last up to 100,000 hours, so you don't have to worry about it dying or anything. Okay, most LED, most LEDs these days do 50,000 to 100 hours, 100,000 hours. I mean, that's just the freaking marketing point. I mean, this guy's trying to blow up the light like it's something special. Plus, it's tough as nails. You saw it get run over by a vehicle, so you don't have to worry about falling apart if it's in your bug out bag or vehicle survival kit, or if you have to smash somebody's face in. Oh, I need to watch that video. One of the best then. parts of getting your free seal torch flashlight right now is that it comes with a special training video I put together called Seal Torch Self-Defense, How to Use This Flashlight. Damn, I really want to watch that video. I want to figure out what he knows about freaking tac tactical flashlight flashlighting to destroy a bigger and stronger attacker in less than 10 seconds oh inside this quick training video you're going to discover how to escape multiple attackers using your flashlight multiple. and this is one of the most powerful secrets that will allow you to survive if two or more criminals come after you two or more the single oh, most snap. important place you can strike with your flashlight and an attacker grabs your throat or your shirt how to use the seal torch elbow to keep from getting pummeled to death. Hmm. This isn't what you think, but is a simple tactic that can be learned in minutes. And how to properly carry your seal torch to inflict immediate destruction on an attacker. Ooh. Yes, there's a right way and a wrong way to carry this flashlight, oh, and it's not what Hollywood shows in movies. Plus, you're going to learn Bruce Lee's secret of ending a fight in seconds and how this is... Woo-wee! Sweeten the deal. Bruce Lee, what is it, a one-inch punch? Man, I really want to look at that manual. <laughs> Even more effective with your seal torch light. And how to escape when someone is choking you. This seal torch tactic causes a criminal to immediately let you go and recoil in pain so that you can immediately escape to safety. And there's a whole lot more in this video. Mm. To claim okay. your free seal torch flashlight and free training video, all you have to do is click on the green button below right now. But there is one thing I want to ask of you. The Postal Service does not give me free postage, so I'm asking respectfully for you to cover the small shipping handling fee. Here's the best part of all. If for any That's probably the freaking price of the flashlight or the unit itself. Reason at all, after you receive your seal torch flashlight, you don't think it's amazing, you don't love it. Well, guess what? I will refund you out of my own pocket the shipping and handling fee, and you don't have to return the light. That's because you freaking bought it from Alibaba for like 53 cents. Freaking liar. Personally, I hate it when I have to return things that I don't like or whatever. Maybe I'm lazy like that. So if you get this flashlight, and again, you're getting it for free. I'm buying the light. All you have to do is cover the shipping and handling. If you don't love it, I will give you back your money. 
100% my own hmm. cost, refund it. So obviously, I only have a limited supply of these. So please read below right now. Grab your free seal torch flashlight while supplies last. Well, my summary to this is I don't want to give my information to this person. Um, but yeah, I could see a lot of people, a lot of people being wowed by it because a lot of people don't have quality flashlights like Phoenix, Net Nightcore, uh, Ace Beam, uh, Manker, Surefire, Elzetta. Um, the list goes on. But anyway, those are quality lights that I would buy from or quality manufacturers that I would buy from. Um, but yeah, you guys tell me what you think. Um, yeah, I, I want to see what this uh, manual is about with the freaking tactical flashlight defense. So, uh, oh, wow. Dang. Look at that. $29 value. That thing's probably that thing's probably a dollar fifty on Alibaba. I bet you it is. I bet you it is, guys. This this just looks. I don't know. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Three sill torch flashlights. Oh, it's a sill torch flashlight. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is, right there. Sill torch. <laughs> okay, let's see why this is a sill torch flashlight. Cree XML. Okay, a Cree XML LED is a quality emitter, albeit it's an older LED um, emitter. This is a, an older one. That's not a newer one. Like the newer ones that a lot of the newer or that the, the you know, like Phoenix, like they have the SFT 40 LED emitter, which is better. But anyway, I don't want to go into that. But beveled edge for self defense. Okay, crenulation on the light. Okay. Ultra light and ultra tough. Okay, looks like it has some anodizing. Telescoping focus. Ooh, 1x, 250x, 500x, 1000, 2000x. Oh, snap. Dude, this thing really might do something. Ooh, five modes. High, medium, low, SOS, strobe. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. That's too many freaking modes. On a tactical light. Okay. Three AA batteries or uh, 18650 battery. I'd rather run an 18650 battery. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. He said most of this stuff. Tough as nails. You saw it get run over. Oh, crap. I need to look at that video. Anyway, this video is getting too long. Let's. Uh... <laughs> this guy's so full of crap. Man, I might have to research his uh, uh, his background on his military service or whatever. As a former CIA officer and Eagle Scout, it's worth to to me to get this flashlight in the hands of good Americans. I mean, you know, it's not a bad flashlight. It's an XML T6 emitter, okay? But the guy is trying to make some money. That's a fact. Okay. They claim they're light. I have one of those, and light is really bright. It as heck and i really love it um yeah that's because these people are just regular people they don't know a quality flashlight from tom dick and harry okay all right yeah that says it all okay yep all right so this about sums up the video for me so i wanted to see if he had his video of him doing some tactical stuff with the light, but I didn't see it. So uh, anyway, that's uh, <laughs> the review on this guy and his uh, tacticalness with the flashlight. Guys, tell me what you think. Put your comments below and uh, let's roast this dude and see what you all think. Also, you can feel free to, feel free to roast me too, okay? Because uh, yeah.